Praise Lord, brothers and sisters. How are we all doing? I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I wanted to come and talk to you for maybe a few minutes about a dream that I had yesterday. And it is not good to talk about that dream, but I have to share because it's related to the topic that I'm talking right now. In the dream, I saw many Christian women. They were, it was almost like they were coming out of church and they were going into this dirty place, almost a room contained of different pots and pits. So these set of Christian women, they were led into this filthy place. And it's not dirt I'm talking about filthy. I'm talking about feces, excreta, um, human feces, not animal feces. And these women, Christian women, one after the other, are going into this dirty nasty place one after the other and literally soaking in this pit lying down some of them are sleeping in it some of them are relaxing they are having full-blown conversations about their life and things like that and I'm seeing it and I'm feeling so restless and I'm feeling so uneasy and I'm thinking why are they so comfortable in this horrible place don't they feel the stink stink this is human excreta and it's somebody else's excreta and they are just having a spa moment in this dirty place and i saw newer women coming into this abominable place lying down soaking themselves in excreta and i started feeling so uneasy like I was saying, brothers and sisters, after I saw this dream, I was left puzzled, conflicted, disturbed. And I started wondering what in the world did I even see? And why did I see? And what does it mean? And what does it mean to, to all these women that are just lying and soaking in feces? It was revealed to me then by the Holy Spirit after I prayed twice. The second time he said to me that this is the plight of every Christian woman who is knowingly or unknowingly involving in sexual sins sexual sins your body is the temple of the lord and the sin that you commit against your body is is a di is in a different category it is like feces you're dipping in feces and getting out of a bathtub full of feces and you're just going and lying there and getting out and the lord is saying they just don't understand that their whole body is smelly and stinky and filthy filthy and they don't smell it they are stinking so bad but they are not smelling it because of sexual sins sexual sins can be from anything from addictions to it could be watching pornography it could be masturbation it could be oral sex it could be even within a marriage that's what our topic is right now we are talking about oral sex within marriage, immoral positions in bed other than the God-ordained missionary position, following the lust, lustful things of the heart. It could be anything using sex toys and we have already talked about all of those things. All of that. Christian women falling into pits of filth. The Lord said that will be their eternal destiny. When they end up in hell, that filthiness they will actually start smelling in. That will be a pit full of filth dug for them in hell because that is where they will be falling and that will be their lot if they don't repent. And that is so sad to, sad to watch that we fall into these pits without even realizing that the Lord wants to save us. The Lord is calling us to himself. The Lord is saying, come to me and I will help you. Let, give it to me. Let me help you. Let me work on you first. And then your husbands, but we just decide, oh no, it's too hard. He's just not going to listen. She's not going to listen. I might as well just follow what the world does. We'll just see what happens. If you die today, that's where you're going. If he dies today, that's where he's going. See, we all are not going to die of old age. Some of us will be martyred. Some of us will die of accidents. Some of us will die very early. We need to be prepared for our deaths. If you die today, you will go to hell because that is the filthiness in the Lord's eyes it's filth it's feces sexual sins against the body is feces I had to come and tell you that I had to interject that 
somewhere in the video because we don't know what tomorrow is going to happen we don't know if he's going to come today we don't know what is going to happen in the world are they going to shut down the phones are they what are they going to do with the world we just don't know and if we don't convey these messages every day as they come we'll be in trouble so that's what the holy spirit is saying and that is what he's telling the church let the ones who have ear listen god bless shalom